welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly general message for August 2021. Now, this is not a love reading, but if it comes up, we will be sure to take a peek into it, okay? All right, Aries, what's going on for the month of August? Angels and guides, high vibrations for August 2021. Yes. Hmm. What is going on here? Moving on to my mama's deck for Aries. Hmm. I cannot believe it's August. Wow. I'm just going to say, let's keep on shuffling. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but it's looking pretty darn good. Angels, high vibrations for lovely Aries, now we're using, of course, the Dragon's Deck to get out of, and of course, you know, the Dragon's Deck is always positive, it's always right side up to get out all the positive energy. Now, we're going to add, we're going to add, remember what goes on the floor, stays on the floor. Angels, high vibrations for lovely Aries for the entire month of Yes, you know what? Oh my God, this is not a love reading. Uh, angels, this is not a love reading. Um, just need one more. Can we have one more? Angels, positive energy, high vibrations. <sighs> All right, we're going to add one for the, from the Buddha deck to get your spiritual message from for the month. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Compassion, what in... As my mama would say, what in Pete's name is going on here? All right, so the major, major theme for the month is, yeah, drum roll, please, the two of cups with the four of hearts, boundaries, the two of hearts, and the king of hearts. This month, when it comes to love, okay, and we're going to say all kinds of love, all right? We're going to say romantic love, friendship love, um, sister, brother, cousin, grandparent, all kinds of love are very important to you this month. With the four of hearts, I feel you feel so loved up from all the people in your life that are closest to you. But someone setting a little bit of a boundary. It may be you with your love bonds. And I feel with the King of Hearts, the way you do it with the King of Hearts is with control of your emotions. You love this person. You're pouring love onto them. But there's something that someone maybe, you know, doing something maybe you really don't approve of. And I feel like, and this this is to you, okay? This is to you. So maybe the person um, is over-talking you, or maybe the person isn't listening to you, or maybe the person is just not picking up the socks, okay? Whatever it is, I feel like you are setting that boundary. There is nothing here that says it's going awry. No, this is all love, love, and you are mastering your emotions with this person that you love. So if this person, um, I feel like you're not going to let them get to you. You're not going to let them... Um, let you, what is it, then you're not going to let them make you angry. Your, your emotions are very controlled. Yes, I feel very, very controlled here. And it's just, it's just a flow. It's just one little thing that's bothering you. Yeah, that, that, that you need to just say, hey, listen, and it might be your child. Hey, listen, you need to, you need to follow your curfew. Or maybe your brother. Hey, you know, you need to stop calling me past such and such an hour while you're working, okay? Just because you're up at 2 o'clock in the morning, working doesn't mean I'm up at 2 o'clock in the morning, right? See? It's a little bit, you still love them, but you're just setting a little boundary, okay? Now, when we look at the recent past, we have the Queen of Cups reversed, the Queen of Diamonds fertile, the two of diamonds, and the three of diamonds. So I am picking up here, in the recent past, with the queen of cups, you were not necessarily in your feelings. No, you weren't. With the queen of diamonds, the way it came across was a bit mm, snarky. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word. Like, you weren't in your, you were quick to your words. Yeah, you weren't in your, I feel like you're, when your emotions got tapped into, you instantly, yeah, you instantly 
yeah, it began, it got bigger. Like your anger began to rise and rise and rise in all of your partnerships and it made it a little bit uncertain. Okay. All right. So you're checking your emotions this month. You're just setting boundaries so that you, so that you too, or you, your family can get along great because you don't want to respond. You don't want to act the way you did in the past. So set the boundaries quick, set the boundaries early. And that way your month can be smooth. Okay. All right. Now let's take a peek at the middle of the month here. We have the night the Knight of Pentacles reversed with the Three of Hearts, mm, place, yes, 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 Four Spades and the Jack of Hearts. I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, there is, there will be resources coming into, coming to you, coming to you slowly. With the Three of Hearts, you are uncertain about this resource. With the place, it's like right where you are. Four of Spades is telling me, I feel like this has to do with your home, money coming into your home. And I feel like with the Jack of Hearts, it feels like a bit of a sacrifice. Um, how this money is coming in, it's almost like you're making a sacrifice for this money to come in. Maybe you're working overtime, maybe you're working a side hustle, or maybe you're uh, doing a job that you really isn't, it's a bit distasteful for you, but nonetheless, you know you gotta keep that energy flowing okay that is in the middle of the month it feels a bit of a sacrifice now when we look at the end of the month we have the four of wands with the two of clubs defense ace of diamonds and the ace of hearts so by the end of the month with the four of wands it feels like everything at home is everything in your love life home family is going rather smoothly i hear you talking about it with the defense card it's going smoothly with the ace of diamonds and the ace of clubs it's almost like ace of hearts it's almost like you you're gonna have to remind them at the end of the month hey 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 we talked about these boundaries okay i'm doing my part right i you're doing your part but at the end of the month, at the end of the month, I see you saying, okay, everything is going great, but we need to have another talk, okay? Because somebody is, somebody forgot, somebody forgot the boundaries, all right? Now, when we look, and remember to keep it cool, okay? When we look at your bonus, you have the devil card reversed, yes? With the four of cups and the ace of diamonds, with the multitask, the seven of clubs and the four of clubs. So I feel like with the devil card reversed, you know, that old mm, behavior, I feel like, that old way of doing things, um, the universe is the universe, God, your angels, your higher self. I feel like there is an element of you releasing your past behaviors. And if this is not you, this is someone in your sphere. They are releasing those past behaviors, those negative past behaviors. I feel like they're still working on it or you're still working on it with the four of cups. It's, it's a work in progress. This has to do with a new beginning. There's more than one way for this new beginning but seven of clubs is telling me don't get upset about how it's happening how this new way of, of happening how this new way of responding is happening don't get upset about it um release the negative um part of that with the four of clubs it's going to work out not like you expected it to it's going to work out differently okay but at the same time it's going to work out and that's that's it. It's going to work out. Bum, period. Right? So have compassion with yourself this month. The major thing here is there is love in your world. There is abundance of love in your world. You're, it's just this little bit of sacrifice that needs to be made for, I, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like with work, with your work, maybe maybe you're, you're you're doing extra work and it feels like it's so slow. <laughs> the, the resources are so slow, but it is coming. That's I feel like that's really the only financial hiccup this month. Everything else looks good. The only, yeah, the only thing here is the way, it, it, it's almost like you have to set your boundaries and at the end of the month, you have to reestablish those boundaries. Um, remind them the boundaries and I feel like 
this is something new for you, setting boundaries, um, because I feel like you or they, depending on where you're sitting in the reading, um, had been in such fear, in such fear of maybe losing out on love, losing out on affection, losing out on this relationship, that you were kind of let them do whatever they wanted to do. In the meantime, it was hurting you. Now, it's like you have evolved to a whole new level. I love you. I want you in my world, but I really, I'm, I love you and I love me enough to not accept that any longer. And you're saying, but they'll, but you want to go back to those old habits, but will they leave? Will they leave? No, <laughs> period. No, they will not. You just have to remind them. Just remember how you responded in the past and remember how, okay, what reaction did you have in the past, right? You don't want to have that reaction again. So it's going to be a lovely month. It's going to be a delicious month for you. Just a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit of emotional whatever it is you're going to work it out and it's they're going to stay that's what i'm picking up they're going to stay no matter what so go ahead feel free to set your boundary with love so i leave it there i send you joy namaste and much much love sent your way